all right, Dr. Josh, I need you to talk about hormones. You know, I deal with this, and as I'm aging, you know, I get very forgetful. And as I was reading on your website, that can be linked with the hormonal imbalance. So how do I naturally balance my hormones? Sure, well, you know, hormonal issues in the U.S. today and across the world is, is a big deal. For a lot of women, they struggle with high estrogen, low progesterone, also adrenal fatigue and thyroid issues. More men today are struggling with low testosterone and adrenal issues than ever before. So balancing our hormones is key. And the reason why I think it's such a, a big deal, Amanda, is that you know, we are created to uh, fulfill our God-given person in life. And when you're tired, when you have imbalanced hormones, when you're irritable, depressed, when you're struggling with hormone imbalance, it can really affect you and affect anybody from going out there and really being able to fulfill their God-given mission. You know, I've taken care of thousands of, uh, or hundreds of pastors in my clinic over the years. And one of the things that I would always tell them is I would say, hey, pastor, you know what? We're doing this because I wanna see you preach in another 20, 30 years. Right. And so when it comes to balancing hormones naturally, the number one mistake I see people making is they're consuming too much sugar and not enough healthy fat. Wait a minute. Sugar is connected to hormones? It absolutely can be. In fact, it's one of the biggest oh, reasons wow. uh, why women today can struggle with adrenal issues and thyroid issues okay. in men with low testosterone. Mm -hmm. So yes, consuming too much sugar is an issue, but the biggest problem today is not getting enough healthy fat in the diet. You know, we went through a period of a, probably about 30 years where everyone said fat is bad, you don't want fat. The truth is your body will turn sugar into fat much faster and then your body will turn fat into fat. In fact, your body can burn fat for energy if you're eating the right type of fats. But uh, healthy fats are precursors and really support naturally balanced hormones. And so you've got to get healthy fats in three categories of fats. I want everybody to start getting in their diet. And number one are omega-3 fatty acids. And omega-3 fats reduce inflammation and really almost every health issue today is inflammatory in nature. In fact, anything with itis at the end, I-T-I-S, uh, actually means inflammation. So arthritis, wow. that's inflammation of the joints. Mm -hmm. Ulcer of colitis, that's inflammation of the colon. Even most heart disease today, is, is, it's not caused by high cholesterol. Why is the cholesterol layering down? Well, it's because there's inflammation in your arteries. Omega-3 fats are the number one thing you can start consuming to reduce inflammation and naturally balance hormones. You're gonna find omega-3 fats in wild-caught fish like salmon. You're gonna find omega-3 fats in certain nuts and seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts. In fact, one of the things I have my patients do is make a trail mix with walnuts and raisins and carry around those and eat those during the day but those omega-3 fats are great. Also in grass-fed dairy and organic meat products, so grass-fed beef, pasture-raised dairy, that's where you're gonna get those omega-3 fats. Okay, and we learned because they eat the grass, they're getting the omega-3, which then when we eat them, You got it, so you are it. what you okay. eat, what they ate. Got it. As we okay. talked about. The second fat you wanna make sure you're getting in your diet are healthy saturated fats. Now that surprises people. A lot of times people think, well, I heard saturated fat was bad. Well, there are many different types of saturated fat. In fact, I had a physician ask me this once. He said, well, are you sure saturated fat is healthy? I said, well, I know it's healthy because the number one type of fat in human breast milk is saturated fat, a fatty acid called lauric oh. acid. And so your number one source of healthy saturated fat is going to be coconut oil. And I've got a great article about this on my website, drax.com, on coconut oil. But coconuts contain good saturated fat that your body can burn for energy. It's not stored as fat like some other types of fat are. And this is why I really cook with coconut oil. Okay. And then I'll also add some coconut milk into a superfood smoothie for breakfast. And you can find a lot of those superfood smoothie recipes on, on my website as well. That's but cool. I really think coconut oil is the best type of saturated fat. Go, Go ahead. ahead. How is coconut oil with heating? I know when you heat certain sure. oils, it's not good. Well, this is again why coconut oil is my number one fat we should be getting is that unfortunately, olive oil and vegetable oils, if you heat them, they can become, uh, they, they can start to oxidize and you can turn them from being a good healthy oil into a bad oil. 
coconut oil has a very high heat threshold, so you can eat it, so you can cook with it, mm -hmm. and it's still, uh, everything is still preserved, every, every, nothing has changed. Yeah, yeah. So coconut oil is the best oil you could be cooking with. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, healthy fats are omega-9 fats, and those are gonna be found in extra virgin olive oil, avocados, things like almonds, but getting some of those good omega-9, also known as monounsaturated fats in the diet, so trying to eating avocados, olive oil, and almonds every day, those are really great things to help naturally balance hormones. And then also when it comes to hormones, I would really say this, really trying to reduce those stress levels and eating certain other foods that are high in nutrients like magnesium. You know, most people today in America have a magnesium deficiency. We've all heard about calcium and how important calcium is. Mm -hmm. The truth is magnesium is even more important to focus on getting on your diet on a regular basis. And I've got an article on my site titled The Top 10 Magnesium Foods. And I recommend everybody go and look and try and consume those top 10 magnesium foods. One of the number one on the list is spinach. Spinach is packed with magnesium, so are avocados, so are chia seeds, but getting more vegetables, more nuts and seeds in your diet, uh, and then things like wild caught fish like salmon, those are all gonna be packed with, with magnesium. This is wonderful information. I'm thinking I need to get my coconut oil, I need to get walnuts, and I have raisins on here and spinach, so Popeye's food was really Popeye's a super food. food. And, and by the way, you're writing this down, I also have a healing food shopping list on my website. So if you want oh, the whole shopping awesome. list, you can just check that out there as well. Okay, well that's right on our website, actually on his, but you can go to ctvn.org and look out Dr. Axe's website. So much good information. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Awesome, we thanks for having me. We greatly appreciate it.